So it was a totally normal Friday night, just like any other. I was about a mile and a half from work. I must have been going probably about 45 miles an hour. I'm looking up this hill and this car is coming so fast at me in my lane. pushed my car backwards off the road and into the ditch. The night of the actual accident, which was September 12th, 2008, I had worked a normal shift. I had just talked to friends about coming up and visiting me on Monday. All of my family was gone, um, actually camping out in Yellowstone, and my sister was down in Madison. So I was just taking care of like the family property and all the animals. I was about a mile and a half from work, like so I had just gotten in my car. I'm looking up this hill, and this car is coming so fast at me in my lane down the hill and all I had time to do was be like take my foot off the gas and essentially lean on my horn she essentially had hit me at such a high speed that she pushed my car backwards off the road and into the ditch. I was seriously like caved in and like everything was like around me like this. Like the dash of the car was essentially like touching my knees and I didn't even know that something was wrong with my knee at that point. All I knew was that like everything was right here. I knew my arm was broken though and I knew that I had broken both of my bones. Like that my patella was shattered. Then with my arm, my radius had essentially just gone, like everything just got like pulverized in this dimension. And you can kind of see, like this is totally like where I didn't have any bone and there's all this like bone growth going on right now. I was just like angry and I wanted to know what happened. Originally I had been told that a man had hit me with his kid in the car. Then not only do I find out that there was a child in the car, a four year old, um, fortunately in their car seat, but it was a woman, a 42 year old woman who was driving the car at the time. Unfortunately she was still able to drive and she still had her license and she ended up getting another drinking ticket two weeks after she hit me. So she will be on probation for the next six years and be like in counseling and drug rehab, like essentially on and off for the next six years. It's really unfortunate. This was a woman, this was one of those things where when you have an addiction, you can really, I mean, her little child has been being affected by this, but like it exploded. I definitely have a jewelry artist friend who has all the metal from my knee and they're making like a kind of like a crystal like keychain wrap um, for it and making a keychain and I'm hoping to be able to give that to her on the one year anniversary just so that when she can drive again, because in Wisconsin you have to have five DUIs before they revoke your license for life. So she's got three more ahead of her if that's what she chooses to do with her life. Um, but like to give that to her, to just remind her that like she is capable of having